Hey everybody, I'm standing inside our St. Charles showroom and I'm looking for some inspiration from you guys. What would you do if you had to change this fountain feature? Please, please help me. Hey everybody, it's Brian from Team Aquascapes. I'm sitting inside of our showroom and it's that time of year. We've basically finished up the entire season and I get inside and I start getting kind of itchy because I want to do something, right? We can no longer can be outside building ponds. And so my creative side moves into our showroom, our retail store, and I've got all these ideas spinning around in my head. Some of the ideas are change. Some of them are just some TLC. And if I look behind me, this is the first area we're gonna change. Not so much change, but give it a little bit of a facelift. I love the stacked walls. I love the colored lights on the stacked walls, but wouldn't it look so much better if I had some of the colored lights up on top here, putting those wavy marks all over this little pavilion type thing. If we took it to another level, I could actually put some plants in here that would grow up and over this thing. And in a two year, three year period, this is a solid green, hanging, viney, whatever you want to call it type thing. I've also really got to change this deck. The water splash off of this has destroyed this deck and it's not so much the water, it's St. Charles water. We have very, very hard water and it corrodes and stains everything it touches. Some major things happening over here. If we move over to the next feature, we've got this pondless waterfall. And I love the pondless waterfall. In fact, there's not a single thing I would change with that waterfall. I love the way it comes down. I love the sound of it, but I need to change out some of this gravel. This is no longer a gravel we can get or can sell to anybody. The fact that this rubber line is always exposed drives me nuts so I might have to pop up this cap and try to tuck that liner underneath I also want to switch out the top so if you look the whole thing starting with the small sphere up there I thought it'd be great to show how a stream can start off with one of our spillway bowls so we'll get a spillway bowl up there of course get a light inside try to put some of those wavy marks all over the the wall on the back and give it a new look we're gonna take that sphere or maybe we'll take a medium sphere and we're gonna take it and put it over on this feature this is Samson's pond. This is Greg's turtle pond. We have these set of three basalt columns. Unfortunately, no longer can we get basalt columns. So I've got to take those out. If we can't sell them, I can't really show them. So I think it'd look great to get a medium sphere in here. And I really love those spheres, not only because the way they look, but the way they sound. The way the water ripples down the side, it literally sounds like rain is rolling off the side of the thing. So definitely do that. We're also gonna clean this pond. This pond's been sitting here for, I don't know, forever it feels like, but let's call it seven-ish years and it's never been drained and cleaned. So we're gonna drain it, clean it, and we'll take you through that whole process at some point. We move this way, we've got an area that I love. And Trevor, one of our top tech guys, actually put this whole display together and I love it. But again, unfortunately, next year, patio bowls are not gonna be available. So I've gotta get these things out of here. What we will have available are these, our Aqua Garden mini pond kits. And I think these things are so cool. My kids love them, my kids love decorating them. People like put them on their desks and I think I can do like a group of five, six, seven, maybe even more of these over there and take them to their fullest potential. Get lots of rocks, get live plants, get all kinds of cool things going. Show some baby turtles, show some different fish. Really, like I said, take them to their fullest potential. We keep moving. There's not much I can do with change in this pond unless I could figure out how to get a machine back in here and I don't want to do that, but it does need some TLC. If we look over to the past, it just looks messy to me. I really want to clean up this whole area. I don't mind the driftwood but it almost looks like a zoo display. This vine, these hoses, it just looks messy to me. This used to be a gorgeous looking gravel beach that moved up in here, but the turtles constantly move that stuff back. So I don't know if we'll put down concrete and embed some gravel into the concrete so it doesn't move or just add new gravel. But all of this really needs to clean up. There's a picture back here that says home of Frito. I'm not even sure who Frito is, right? So that should go. <laughs> so this is just gonna get a facelift. A little bit of a clean will drain clean it, add a new skimmer box over there because we have new skimmer boxes. So we need to show that and then cut back some of these plants a little bit. Now we're gonna go into the space where I ask for some of your guys' help. So this is where I really need your guys' help. I love this display, right? I think it looks great. I love that patio bowl and how the water comes out in different directions. I love the height of the stacked wall over there. But one thing I know about retail, we need to change things up. Things need to look different. I wanna show new inspiration. We also have new ideas. So we've got roughly an eight foot 
by eight foot area here. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know if I'm gonna bring in spears. I don't know if I should do a pomless waterfall. I don't know if I should do a trio of different urns. Maybe I change this wall out. There's so many things spinning around in my head. And uh, I think at some point, one of you guys is gonna say, do this. And I'm gonna say, yes. That's exactly what I wanna do. So I can't wait to shout out to one of you guys, whichever one's inspired me the most, to change this area and really bring it new life. Not better life, just new life. So we have two small ponds in here and the idea behind the two small ponds is one pond had a waterfall right off the edge, the other pond was the exact same size but had a little bit more of a waterfall in the stream. I think what I wanna do is just say that pond's that pond and then make this pond completely different, not to try to really compete with that pond. So I wanna change this up. If you also look, remember when I was talking about that hard water, St. Charles, look at how it's literally stained some of these rocks. It gets this weird like calcium deposit all over it. And so I think I just want to rip this whole thing out, give it all new rocks, give it a new shape, give it a little bit more depth, a new inspirational type waterfall, maybe a little bird loving beach type thing. Not that we have birds in here, but it would be cool if we did. <laughs> and just give this new life. Again, not a better life, just new life. If we move around this way. We've got this whole space. I think the spears are the coolest thing. I was actually thinking about maybe moving those up into the front in that area where I needed help, but I just don't know. Regardless, this needs to become something different. So I think I'm gonna do a palmless waterfall in this area. Different type of palmless waterfall, build it out of a different type of stone, get a nice little deep babbly brook sound. Really wanna do that because my office is right here and then I can look at a waterfall and I'm bored looking at the spears and we know how to build waterfalls, so why not? So this will get all changed. If I come over in this direction, this is one of my favorite displays in the whole retail store, but it's dark and we have all kinds of cool colored lights. So I want to get the colored lights on here. I want to get some more plants around it. Again, I want to switch out some of the gravel. We don't sell this gravel. So I want to get this gravel out of here. I want to get plants in the foreground. Just bring it out of what seems to be the back corner of our retail store and make it more of a show place. Maybe I'll even get some lights up here shining down on it. Maybe I'll do some lights from back behind plants. We've been experimenting a lot with our lights and the different angles we can put them at, even using the pathway light and putting them where the light kind of casts down rather than just on a pathway. Use them to highlight some of the raised bowls over in here. But this area will all get changed, hopefully to the point where I can leave those three, but it looks like a completely different feature. We've got one more area to check out. Last is our big koi pond over here. This is our signature pond in the store. Nothing I wanna change with it. I would like to switch out some of those rocks that have the big giant calcium deposits all over it, but to do that is gonna be a monster task. I'm not sure I'm gonna be ready to do that. We might actually just try to take a brush and see if we can't clean them off a little bit and bring back their natural color. But with this pond, I do need to change this patio. This patio seems to be settling for some reason. This rock is moving, this rock, you know, kinda wants to move, but these things are wiggling around all over the place. So I really wanna change this patio, make it solid, tighten up some of these joints, get rid of this concrete stuff in between. And I also wanna get a better backdrop. When you come up here, the idea is that you should focus on the pond and everybody that comes up here, as I watch them come up here, they all do this. And I don't want them to look at all the office space. They should feel like they're in the backyard. So we have to build some type of structure here that blocks that off and makes them concentrate on this space that much more. Well, hey guys, that's what our plan is for the winter. And the reason I'm sharing this with you guys is because everybody always asks, what are we doing this winter? This is a small, small amount of what we'll do in the winter. We just named five, six, seven, some projects inside our retail store. We have all kinds of traveling opportunities that we've got to take advantage of. We've got projects out of state. We have collaboration type builds. We still have our academy that we're doing twice a month. We stay busier in the winter than we do sometimes in the summer. Hopefully you guys follow us along and look and watch our slow transformation in our retail store and more importantly give me some inspiration that I need on how to change that feature over there. I need your help, right? Give me some inspiration, some ideas on what I can do over in that space. Maybe some of you guys even have some ideas on other things I could do around the store. I know I don't have 
all of them. And I know you guys are just as creative. So share with me some of the things you've seen out there, some of the things you've personally done. Maybe it's something you even want to do yourself, but don't have the courage to and want us to try to do it. I can't wait to read all the comments down below, get inspired, hopefully then share some inspiration with you guys as well. So the second this comes out and you're done watching it, don't forget to comment down below. And don't just comment here on YouTube, comment on Facebook, comment on Instagram. Whatever inspires us the most, whatever everybody is looking for the most is what I'm gonna use. Can't wait to share with you what's gonna happen. Please, please, please help me out. You guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, tell all your friends, and we'll keep doing this. Bye.